welcome back. We're here for Beginners A1 Lesson 2. When you go to a place of business or an office, you see many things. Remember how we learned to use a or an when there's just one thing? Well, in this lesson today, let's look at what happens when there are more things. What do you see in this photo? I see a man. I see a chair. I see computers. I see lamps. I see tables. I see pictures. What happens to our noun when there are two or more? That's right. We usually add S. We do not need a or an. Let's practice. Look at these photos and words. Decide if you need to add S or use a or an. For this example, we add S to the noun because there are many windows. We do not use a or an. Pencils, a toy, cupcakes, a flower, jars. What if we want to say exactly how many there are? We need to use numbers. Let's review the pronunciation of numbers. I have a Midwestern American accent from Kansas. So you might notice that I don't always pronounce the letter T as T. Sometimes I say it a little bit differently. You might be able to hear it when I read these numbers. If you don't want to hear me count, you can skip to this timestamp. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. In a clearer accent, people might say twenty, but in my Midwestern accent, we say twenty. They're both right. With numbers over 20, it's pretty simple. We just add 1, 2, 3 after the tens place number. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Now let's count by tens. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103, and so on, 200, 300, 400, and so on, 1,000. In a different lesson, we will deal with numbers that are higher than 1,000, but that's a great start with counting. Let's practice describing how many there are. Two frogs, three books, four girls. It's just that easy? Use a number and add S? Well, not exactly. What if the noun already ends in S or double S? Like a bus, a glass, a bus, buses, a glass, glasses. We add ES, or a noun that ends in X, a box, boxes, a tax, taxes, or a noun that ends in CH, CH, or CH, TCH, a lunch, lunches, a watch, watches, or a noun that ends in SH, SH, a dish, dishes, or a noun that ends in Z and adds, adses, 
Sometimes you have to double the final S or Z before adding ES. That means you need to have two S's or two Z's before you can add ES, like a gas, gases, a quiz, quizzes. Notice that in all of these cases, the pronunciation of the final S sound changes when we use ES. We say ES. This also happens for nouns ending in GE, CE, SE, or ZE. Even though you only need to add S when writing, you still will change the pronunciation to ES. A message, messages. A race, races. A phase, phases. A glaze, glazes. For most nouns ending in the letter O, we also add ES, but the sound stays the same. A tomato, tomatoes. A now you try it. Add S or ES for these nouns to make them plural. Foxes, eggs, benches, pluses, fezzes, plants. Nouns ending in the letter Y have two different forms. Nouns ending with a vowel plus Y, such as A-Y, E-Y, O-Y, or U-Y. You will never see a word ending in I-Y in English. It's very uncommon. So for words with A-Y, E-Y, O-Y, or U-Y, follow the basic rules and just add S. Days. Keys, toys, guys. Nouns ending in a consonant plus Y are different. You throw away the Y and add I-E-S. Baby, babies. Army, armies. Body, bodies. Family, families. Now it's your turn. Transform these nouns by adding either S or I-E-S. If you need to add I-E-S, don't forget to throw away the Y. Trays. Lullabies, factories, donkeys. Now let's bring it all together. Choose the correct form of each noun from these options. Dresses, ships, monkeys, potatoes, jewels, matches. So there you have it. These are the basic forms for regular plural nouns. 
If you want more information on this topic, watch my B1 Irregular Nouns video lesson. I will put the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, tell me in the comments. I would be happy to help you. See you next time. Bye!